Hi, this is a series about special relativity. In this series, we will show you the basics of special relativity. If you know the concepts of relative motion, average speed, and Newton's second law of motion, we are ready to go. In the first of this series, we will show you why special relativity is wrong. Let's consider this problem. Suppose two spaceships are approaching the Earth from opposite directions, both at the speed of light. What is the relative speed between them? Well, using the normal formula of u equals v plus w, we get 2c. Using special relativity's formula, on the other hand, of u equals v plus w divide 1 plus v times w divide by c squared, we get c. But which one is correct? Two contradicting answers cannot both be correct. Let's list the three possible combinations in the following table. We can skip the first two cases where special relativity's formula is assumed to be wrong, because they do not add any value to our discussion. On the other hand, why is there a question mark added to case 3? Would there be a case where special relativity might still be wrong? Here is the first equation of special relativity. Did you see the c plus v and c minus v there? They came from the normal velocity transformation formula. If the normal formula is wrong, then everything based on it is wrong, including special relativity. So a very high-end summary of why special relativity is wrong is because it started from the normal velocity transformation formula but obtained an incompatible formula from it, thus destroying its own mathematical basis. We will be going more in-depth into this in future presentations. Following will be the references that we have used for this video.